Okay, Delbert Dumas is going to show you how to do some crown mold. And yes, my last name is Dumas, and all my kids are Dumases, and all the, well, a bunch of the people that work for me are Dumases. And I've been teaching Dumases how to cut crown for quite a while. So I'm going to show you some of the tricks I've learned. And I'm not going to show you them all because I'm old and my memory's fading. All right, so here's my setup. Homeowner's car is covered. Chop saw set up on the outside. And you never want to set your chop saw up on the inside. It just makes a terrible mess. You're just going to have to walk back and forth 50 times if that's what it takes. All right, I'm going to turn this around and we'll get started. All righty then. This is my setup, and I'm repairing somebody else's stuff, reusing it. As you can see, it's already stained, and I don't want to have to go get a new piece and try to match the stain, so I've got to be careful. So what I'm suggesting you do is you get you some scraps. They don't have to be big like this. And set yourself up with an outside corner and an inside corner that you can look at. And that's set up just like it's going to go on the wall around the cabinets or this is going around cabinets. But it could be exterior or interior walls, exterior walls, anywhere you want to put crown. Okay, so I've got two chop saws set up here. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk to you about that one. This is the big banana. As you can see, it's the big banana. Okay, I've got this little one here for cutting trim. Small itty bitty pieces of trim that the big banana is going to bust up. Let me get that out of the way for now. All right, one of the first things you're going to need is a sharp pencil. I'm used to using one of these big ones, so that's what I'm using, but I'm suggesting you get a good sharp pencil or a mechanical pencil. A lot of guys use mechanical pencils. Now, if you look at the table on my chop saw, you can see there's all kinds of lines on it, and some of them are made with Sharpies, which was a mistake because they won't come off now. But the first thing you want to do is set your a piece of crown mold that you're going to be using on your chop saw. And when it goes in, you want the fat side. You can see there's a fat side. And up here is the small side. So the fat side goes against the ceiling. The small side goes against the wall. But when you're cutting it on the chop saw, you're cutting it upside down. So when you're cutting it, you've always got the fat side down. And one of the other problems people make is it's hard to get that just right. So what I like to do is slide the piece down. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I get here. And I like to rock it back and forth to where I think it fits good, top and bottom. Now, I'll take my pencil and I'll draw a pencil line here, down here, over there on that side, top and bottom as well. All right, so I'm gonna put it on pause. I'm gonna draw them pencil lines, and I'll use pencil lines so that I can wash them off later and not use uh, Sharpie like um, somebody else did. All right. You can see my new pencil lines. And on the table that turns, I've put on three lines. 45 over, 45 over, and 90 degrees. Now, the reason you go 45 is you're making a 90 degree corner. 
So 45 and 45 equals 90 degrees. And that's why on the chop saw you'll see marks at uh, 22 and a half because 22 and a half times 4 is 90. So you're making a 90 degree turn in most houses. All right, so what you want to do is take a piece that you're cutting, take it into the house and mark on it what you want. Standing it up, fat side up, looking at it like this. And then you're going to decide, is this a long point? short point or square or you could, I put short point but you could put uh, outside corner or inside corner and then you've got these this thing over here that you can look at and mark it mark your new piece the same way another pe mistake people make is when you're cutting these you don't measure or mark the fat side. You mark the short side or the wall side. So this point here, yeah, this point here goes to the ceiling, and that one changes depending on what you're doing. So turn them upside down and mark the wall side, the small side, and that should do it. All right, wish me luck. Okay, Biggie here again. That's my wife, Emma, holding the camera or the phone. And um, we call her little because, um, well, she insists on we call her little, but. When we were in school, uh, well, her maiden name was Half Acre. So all of her friends started calling her Littlefield. And that just turned into Little. And when we got married, she insisted that her name be Little. So she doesn't like Emma, or she doesn't like Mrs. Dumas. So we call her Little. And my kids started listening rap and they started calling me Big E. So now I'm Big E Dumas. Anyway, the crown's done and I've got a lot of work to do up here but the crown's done. Alright, thanks.